the next dangerous animal is rhinoceros. Why? He's born crazy. From the day he's born, he's crazy. When he, he smells something that don't smell like him, oh, like the once animal she, he's used to, he goes, where is it, where is it, where is it, so I can go, kick it, go and kick it. And it's not just me who, who's telling you, you know who knows best? Elephants. Elephants know that this guy is no good. So whenever they see him, and he, he, uh, I don't want to, to graze with, with the crazy guy here. So he comes after him. And you see, I know that I see an elephant. He takes with some green stuff. And he takes off. Because if an elephant finds him, you see him grab, boom, turn him upside down. And stamp on him. So he knows better than staying near an elephant. Because elephant is calm. Some people used to tell us, you say, oh, if an elephant is after you, you just make a sharp corner and when he comes, make a corner because so you just turn corner. That's not true. If an elephant is after you, you can no chance. But, it doesn't happen. You hear people being killed by elephant. In Meru, one day, we, we don't know where the elephant came from. He in the middle of Mary is walking in, in, in the street. Everybody, people are screaming and it's, it get, it's getting pretty excited. It's getting, it's getting scared. And we all these people running, screaming. They, they all sound like they want to attack, want to attack him. So one of them ran screaming, went into his house. And the elephant came and pulled that house off. <laughs> and he was like, have you seen the uh, 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 a rabbit running away from you and going uh, hide under your hat, you know, your hat, and then you pull your hat. <laughs> that's that's that man. Uh, pulled and the, the the guy was uh, he just didn't even see him. He just stepped on him and the guy was my was the hamburger. Another time, so you know how it goes. A woman, there's a big forest uh, between Meru and. Uh, <coughs> in another uh, for, uh, forest called uh, the Forest of, of Maporisi. That's the Forest of Police. I don't know why they call it the Forest of Polisi. Uh, the, the, the smaller one is in Meru. <coughs> you cross those coins in Momela. Now she's come from Momela. She's crossed all that. She gets into the forest. I don't know why she waited. There was a place called Macau. Ah, the hill there. You can see everything. That's where people used to rest and eat. But she went far and then she got into the forest. So she sat down. But an old woman with her son sat eating. Suddenly, an elephant comes. And the wind is coming from the elephant towards her. So the elephant is not smelling her at all. Besides, not a straight road. Comes then at the corner, here's the woman. The woman starts screaming. The elephant, what he heard is attack, attack, the woman is going to attack her. And the elephant screamed too. But her husband goes, And the woman goes, all screaming. And the elephant the scream paralyzed the woman. It does. The scream of, a of an elephant sounds, you hear drums, you hear some trumpets in it, you hear all kind of, uh, op the whole opera is coming from his mouth. And it paralyzes, I don't know how it's designed, but it, it paralyzes his, his victim completely. You can't even run, you can't do anything. So the elephant then, what it does, is paralyzing you, so you don't hurt him. Then he comes, and, and you are paralyzed, so he push you out of, out of the way. And you fly. You hit it, a, a tree and another tree and you are in pieces. Now he goes, look what you made me do now, you. If you are so weak, why did you have to, why did you come attacking me? Now he, he comes and start collecting every piece. Really they do. You collect every piece, start burying them. He 
I put some branches and shrubs and inside covering you. And it screams. The other, the other elephant here, they come, they help him, they pull and cover. And they, they lie there. They're they they are mourning. Uh, a life lost. Nothing. They are very peace, peaceable animal. You have seen in India, elephant now retaliating. You know, even the most peaceable person fights back when they're cornered. So those elephants were cornered, so they were fighting back because their land was taken. So it's gone. But usually, elephants don't go around hunting people. In Mamela, in Mamela, someone came and uh, there was an elephant were in his farm. We were in, uh, in, uh, in front of our house there. A whole bunch of kids were looking. Look at those elephants. Who is that? Someone's is going after those elephants. They're going to kill him. They're going to kill him. They're going to kill him. He got there, he said, You! Eating my bananas, eating my vegetables. He took stones. Bam! He bit, hit them with a stone. Oh, they, 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 you could see the eye even from far because it's big. He closed his eyes. He, he takes off. He, the, the, the other one, they took off. They ran and he went after them. He went after them, be, beating them. And they were running. Because he wasn't going, ah! No. He was just with you. And they knew. They were in trouble, and they took off. They are gentle. They are huge. They, they, one move like this, you're gone. But they ran. And we saw them, they, they walk like this. The guys went, because it's little. And the elephant, there. pretty soon, the gap between them, why then the elephant disappeared? That elephant. Now, back to the rhinoceros. Uh, we raised one from a baby. When it got big, it became dangerous because the guy who was taking care of him became like a mama to him. So when he, he would go somewhere far and he would lie down and, and put his head and cover his face and the rhinoceros would be grazing there. He used to be cute when he's little, he say, show me, show me. If you say that, he will make his, his lip become long, like, <laughs> like trunk when everybody go. He was cute, but when he got big, he became dangerous. He too protective for that guy. If he sees you talking to him, he will come running to kick you. So we get rid of him. And besides, he was already beginning to grow his horns, and those are dangerous. Now, what would you do if you were confronted by one of those? It happened. We were in Mamela. In Mamela, in those days, little ones didn't have anything to do. Your mothers are in the field, my father, he was in charge of the whole Mamela. We don't know where he is. And all the fathers are busy working. There were no TVs. We never seen a card or a book. What do you do at home? So the little ones, sometimes you sneak away with the big boys. And uh, they get into trouble a lot for taking you. But you sneak out it anyway. You beg them and beg them. And sometimes they won't let you, but you sneak in anyway. Sometimes the quickest way was to ride on a, a ram, you know, the mail of a ship. Yeah, you just clamp on top of it and go with, with, with the, the ship. And uh, it was one of those uh, days I have my knife and everything, I'm carving. I was four years old. We were at uh, Rick Rick, 
Uh, Rekireke is a place where there are a lot of natural fruits, wild fruits. Uh, mamumua and raw, raw, just like a, like a pudding with a cinnamon and a sugar in it. Really, very tasty. Or with a, or like a, like creamy chocolate. Very, very tasty. Uh, mamumua kind of sour a little bit, but good. Uh, we used to go there, get mamumua, get them raw, we'll, we'll eat those all day. I don't know whether they are there now, I've been there for a long time. Well, uh, suddenly, uh, I heard, Rhino, Rhino, I thought, ah, we just talked. Rhino, Rhino said us, hey you guys, Rhino, run, Rhino. I went on carving, and carving, carving, and I looked up, it was here, in front of me, huge, it was just huge, round, big thing, and big horns. I never had seen it look that big, and the nose was something like, was open like this. Like there was, there was fire. I thought for a long time there was a fire coming from the nose of that rhinoceros. And we were told if you meet a rhinoceros, you run to the nearest tree and climb the tree because he, rhinoceros cannot climb a tree. We were told that over and over and over. And his, 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 his the horn is already bent down. It's coming towards me. The other boy did run and climbed a tree already. And I ran and climbed the tree. The tree was like a 15 feet high. <laughs> That's the tree. And they had climbed and there was only about, the last one was about five foot, five foot. That thing is much higher than that. And I came behind him. I climbed him and then hanging behind him. Now I started looking. That thing there is taller than the, than us here where we are, and it's huge, and he's coming. He came closer and closer and closer. Oh man, what do you think happened to, to us? Oh, some of us. You want to try and. Uh, for a conclusion, why don't you put it in the, in the blog, just post it, what do you think happened? I'm sure you know by now, you, you have an idea what happened. Okay, until next time, have a nice day.